Shalom, y'all, shalom, shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Most High Yahweh. I do so in the name of His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Yasharallah. Call Haloyim Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Haraka, Kodash, for blessing our elders with the spirit of truth so that we may know. Shout out to the Akim and the Akwaf that's keeping the faith and the works. Y'all keep at it. It's your brother Abaya coming at you with more precepts. It's the book of Matthew, chapter 12, and verse 33. Either make the tree good and his fruit good, or else make the tree corrupt and his fruit corrupt, for the tree is known by his fruit. All right? The tree is known by his fruit. Topic of today's video is make sure that you eating good, man. All right, we don't need trash in our lives. We've been fed GMOs, lies, all right, historical falsehoods. All right, we've been fed all kind of nonsense. So we deserve a good diet in these last days. All right, and the Most High Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah is providing us with an awesome meal. But you got to make sure that you are being provided with that meal and not nothing made up. All right, because we've had enough. All right, this is the book of. Let's see. John. Twenty one seventeen says he said unto him the third time, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me? Peter was grieved because he said unto him the third time, Love thou me? And he said unto him, Lord, thou knowest all things. Thou knowest that I love, I love thee. The house I said unto him, Feed my sheep. All right. So. That's that real soul food that you're supposed to be receiving, right? That good meal that puts your spirit and puts your soul in a peaceful state, right? Give that. Well, I ain't gonna say that because right? this ain't this not supposed to put you to sleep. It's supposed to keep you up, right? A good healthy meal to do that, <laughs> right? Healthy meals give you energy. It don't bring you down. And that's what the that's what this word does. Scripture says man can't live off bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of the most high. All right? That's pure. That's like from the earth. All right? It's clean. All right? Not tainted like pork and you know, all the other abominations that these people eat in this in this this world. All right? Spiritual fruit has to be good, right? For example, right, um, if you go to the store and you buy a bag of apples, right, the top portion of that bag, it look good, that's what make you buy it. But in the midst of that bag is a rotten apple. And once you go to pulling out those apples one by one, and you get closer to that one rotten apple, you'll start to see rotten apples all around it. Right? Because bad fruit, it doesn't just affect that person or that one apple. It affects the apples that's around it. So you must make sure that that fruit is good so that it can all be edifying. All right? Let's go to the book of Ephesians. It's a lot. Ephesians chapter five and, and nine says, for the fruit of the spirit is in all goodness and righteousness and truth. That fruit equates to the knowledge that you have, which in turn um, goes to the understanding that you have about that knowledge, which leads to the wisdom 
enacted on that knowledge that you understand. Right? Good fruit. Right? Um, it says, proving what is acceptable unto Yahweh. Good fruit is just that. Acceptable unto Yahweh. It's not bad. It's not rotten. Right? It's everything you're supposed to have to be able to feed the sheep. Not only feed the sheep, but feed yourself because in essence, you are a sheep as well. The real shepherd is Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. So not only are you feeding those around you, you're feeding yourself too. All right? Verse 11, it says, And have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness, but rather reprove them. Because if you hang around that unfruitful works of darkness, just like that apple, that bad apple that's in that batch, you will then become that bad apple because it will rub off on you. Right? So then, then you'll end up going back to God love everybody. You end up going back to uh, the, the tenets of Christianity. Which is a well-known lie. It's, it's so easy to research that thing. So simple to find out that Christianity is a lie. Right? Christianity, not the Bible. The word in the book is true. The doctrine of Christianity is false. Alright? But you got to make sure, like script just said, that you have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness, but rather reprove them, correct them, correct those individuals that spew the Christianity nonsense or that Islam nonsense or that Buddhist nonsense with facts, with the truth, because you can't deny the truth, man. All right. You cannot deny the truth like we just read. Ephesians 5 and 9 for the, for the fruit of the spirit is in all goodness and righteousness and truth alright let's go to the book of Romans Romans chapter 8 and uh, verse 23 it says and not only they, but ourselves also, which have the first fruits of the spirit, even we ourselves grown within ourselves, waiting for the adoption to wit the redemption of our body. Right? Because when you feed, it's just like in the carnal world, right? If you switch your diet up, right, you then become more healthy physically. So how much more spiritually? If you switch your diet up spiritually, meaning the things that you take in, because the spirit is in your mind. The things that you take in, right? You chew the good, spit out the bad. Your spirit will then become healthy. All right? And not only they, but ourselves also, which have the first fruits of the spirit. How do you obtain the first fruits of the spirit? Let's go to the book of Proverbs. Chapter 8 and uh, verse 17. I love them that love me. All right. I love them that love me. See, that's another scratch or cut against Christianity. Because Christianity just say God love everybody. But scripture said, I love them that love me. All right? And those that seek me early shall find me. All right? You seek Yahweh early, you will then receive those first fruits of the spirit alright one of those things 
that you are supposed to learn in receiving those first fruits is how to love. According to 2 John 6, 1 John 5 and 3, to love the Most High and your brethren is to keep his word, keep his laws, statutes, and commandments. And Yahweh just said, I love them that love me. All right. Let's go to the book of, let's see where I want to go. Let's go to Galatians 5. Galatians chapter 5 and verse 22. But the fruit of the Spirit is love. Right? But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance. Against such there is no law. Huh? Right? If you operating in love, nothing can come against you. No one can judge you because you're operating in love according to the word, not according to the word, not according to the world, rather. You have the righteous fruits to give the world, and no one can deny those righteous fruits. All right, let's go back to that, ex that apple example. You got a tree. You got a whole, a whole yard full of apple trees. It's natural. And you pick nothing but the best fruits of that tree. No one can say that tree, or those apples rather, is genetically modified because you can show them the tree where you got it from as opposed to going to the store and you receive an apple. That apple ain't got no seeds in it. But it looks shiny. It look clean, look good and all that, but it has zero seeds. You can speak against that tree. Or you can speak against that apple. It might not even have a tree. For real, for real. That thing growing in a lab somewhere. <laughs> right? But it's a difference between false and true. And we speaking about the righteous fruits of the spirit. That knowledge that you have inside you to be able to what? Feed the sheep. All right. Let's go to the book of 1 John. First John chapter 3 and verse 9 to further explain the point says, whosoever is born of power doth not commit sin, for his seed remaineth in him, and he cannot sin, because he is born of power. Right? If you are born of power, meaning you have put off the old man and you die daily to uphold the righteousness that the Most High has blessed you with, you do not sin. That don't mean you're not going to fall. Scripture says a righteous man falls however many times and get back up. All right? In doing so, you are righteous. David fell. Was he not righteous? He got back up and got right back on point. All right? It says... Uh, verse 10 in this the children of power are manifest and the children of the devil whosoever doeth not righteousness is not of power neither he that loveth not his brother alright when you love the most high with all your heart mind and soul and you love your brother as yourself you can't sin you can fall short alright but you're going to get back up and keep on walking. You're going to dust yourself off. You're not going to languish in your, in your down. You're not just going to, well, I done fail, so ain't no need to be getting back up. No. What kind of fruit is that 
to give to the people. All right? What kind of what kind of what kind of fruit is that to feed yourself? Nah, you get back up and keep it moving. All right. Um, let's go to the book of Psalms. Psalms thirty-seven and um, twenty-three. Says the steps of a good man are ordered by Yahweh. And he delighteth in his way. Though he fall, he shall not be utterly cast down. Why? For Yahweh upholdeth him with his hand. Though he fall, he shall not be utterly cast down. For Yahweh upholdeth him with his hand. Right? When you have good spiritual fruit right the most high will ensure that you get back up once again let's go back to that apple example right some of them apples that that's on your tree that's on your natural tree they might hit the ground right but if that apple is still in 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 good tech, it's still good. It's gonna get picked up off the ground, cleaned off, and used for good services. But if that tree or if that apple that hit the ground is rotten, it's gonna stay right though. All right, and gonna get rotten all the way to the core to the point. Where it's no longer there. It's back in the earth. <laughs> All right? Good fruit, what we talking about, man. And that's what we want to be. That's what we want to give. That's what we want to receive. All right? Scripture says, make your calling and election sure. Scripture says, study to show thyself approved. That's how you receive that good fruit. First and foremost, is by the will and power of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai from the beginning of the world. Matter of fact, before the world even began, right, he handpicked good fruit to be able to feed the people. And that's what we strive to be. And Yahweh Ratazah, we endure until the end and be so and receive the blessings of having good spiritual fruit and those blessings include having a mighty feast in the kingdom as kings and priests right under Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai Yahweh Ratazah meaning Yahweh willing these these precepts in this video are edifying call Halayim Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai Bahashem Harakah Kodash Shalom, Yashallah.